It's not often that we have new illnesses in healthcare. And recently, over the past several months and years, we've learned more and more about the negative consequences of vaping. Vaping is an electronic device that has come out recently where there are cartridges or pods with liquids and nicotine and other products in them that get heated up and then uh, inhaled into the lungs. The e-cigarettes and the vaping devices typically do not have the same carcinogens in them that a traditional cigarette would have. Um, cigarettes have different carcinogens in them, including things like formaldehyde, but are inhaled in a different way and maybe not as deep as some of these vape pens could be. The vape pens do have things in them like propylene glycol and glycerol in them that can be broken down to become a carcinogen, but they are not directly carcinogenic. Um, when they get heated up, the water or the wax gets what we call vaporized, so they become smaller ultrafine particles that can be inhaled deeper into the lungs. And so anybody that has lung diseases could face more potential problems because those particles are getting deeper into the lungs. Potentially they can lead to then a nicotine addiction because they do contain nicotine in them. One of the problems is that a lot of younger people are using them earlier and so we're seeing damage to the lungs and the brain earlier in life than we would have had they not been using e-cigarettes. Because these products are used at such a younger age, they're affecting the development of different brain circuits. They're seeing an increase in mood disorders or suspect an increase in mood disorders in young people, difficulty with learning, problems with inattention, as well as sooner problems or more difficulty with addiction problems because those brain circuits are disrupted. If you choose to continue using a vape product or an e-cigarette pen, it is important that you buy your products from a legitimate source. A lot of kids and young people will buy them from gas stations or other areas that we don't know the composition of the pods or the device products themselves and so you don't know what you're inhaling and could potentially be causing one of these lung related illnesses. Using them earlier in age and in life could create earlier lung problems than anybody understands or expects at this point. I myself have not seen any of the lung related illnesses because they're so bad that people are having to go straight to the hospital as opposed to coming to their doctor for any reason. Imagine not being able to score that next touchdown, not make that next three point shot, not star in your next high school play, and not make those college visits, all because of a negative outcome due to vaping. You have many choices in life. Please choose to not vape, and you will hopefully have a healthy life for many years to come.